Where data is at the foundation of everything, credibility and integrity become powerful weapons, and they can be used for good or ill. While the national government argues that a single digital identity will bring greater efficiency and security, privacy advocates are understandably concerned about the potential for ubiquitous surveillance and discrimination. In the neighboring state of East San Oban, for example, the authoritarian regime has banned so-called undesirable people from teaching for fear that they'll corrupt the young. Fully autonomous weapon systems are still being debated internationally. For now, there's a moratorium on their testing. While New San Hoban is abiding by the terms, allegations have been made in the United Nations Security Council that East San Hoban is not. Amid escalating tensions in the region, other countries are threatening to withdraw their support for a ban. Where truth becomes subjective, the conspiracy is king. When Ms. Sanchez attacked me, I was shocked. I went on her show to explain what we were doing, to, you know, to put things right. But she refused to understand that we hadn't yet completed the investigation. You slimy Well, it's still far Grace. from complete. But our preliminary findings Screen suggest... off. Hey, Steven. Hey, Steven. Hey, Steven. Steven? Oh, Julia, sorry, bandwidth. Are you okay? I'm fine, uh, what is it you wanted to talk about? This whole thing? I mean, I just don't know what to do anymore. Dad's barely holding on and and now this creep is telling everyone lies and everyone's believing him? You mean Richard Graves? He's always been a smooth talker on social media. People do eat him up. So in order to get to the truth, you're just gonna need more than journalistic skills. I know, but everyone's buying into Corlo's story, even the authorities. I mean, is that how cyber investigations work nowadays? You were in the force. Okay. Do you remember when Zoracom was hacked? They had to block millions of credit cards. In order to buy some time, make the whole thing go away, they blamed it on some junior IT employee and labeled it as human error. Who was the chief investigator? Christopher Holt. And he let it all slide. Hmm. Screen on. Yeah, that's him. Hmm. Same guy, same tactics. So the only truth here is that Corla and the police are cooperating. Wait, you think they're both hiding something? I don't know, that's what we're gonna find out. You can help me. Come on, it'll be like old times. Richard Graves, CEO of Corlo Industries, is still the talk of the town after Julia Sanchez's interview. Well, it's still far from complete, but our preliminary findings suggest that, it pains me to say it, that the malfunction might have been the result of a corrupted update. I mean, it's still too soon to be sure. I... I am sorry. I apologize to everyone that I've let down. And today's trending hashtags are v -v -v Richard, not my Corlo, and take it to the grave. I don't know about you, but I find it hard to believe. You all remember, Mr. Graves had little to no idea what happened, yet a day later, he comes up with a story about a bad software update. <laughs> These last few days have been excruciating for all of us but I want to clarify that I do not accept Corlo's explanation, and I will stop at nothing to bring you the truth. I've been Julia Sanchez. The truth, as always. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time on Report 2030.
Richard. Richard. Like I said, Richard, that was a very good interview. We're back on track. How? Well, sentiment analysis engines are predicting very positive impressions. No. How did I end up in an interview with a journalist whose father is in a coma after a hot stent malfunctioned? I had no chance. You know we don't have access to patient data. Benjamin? Something on your mind? Yes. You lied. The corrupted update was just a hypothesis. One of many. We still don't know what we... We're still going through the data. My teams are working 24-7, going through all activity over the past six months. But it's going to take time to sift through all those logs. Ben, it's not that simple. No, Vic, it actually is. We're all here. Because you inspired us, Richard. You showed us that we can achieve remarkable things by working together. And we have. I mean, we've literally changed the world. But this thing We is... don't know. We don't have access. We can't say for sure. That's all I've been hearing for the past few days. And in the meantime, the conspiracy theorists are having a field day. I had to buy some time, Benjamin. But I need to know if I'm responsible for all these deaths. I think she went too far. What we saw yesterday has nothing to do with factual reporting. This 2030 report of hers is descending into pure sensationalism. Contrary to many theories out there, Corlo is not obstructing the investigation. On the contrary, they are providing us with all the assistance we require. A protest has erupted in front of the East San Hoban Embassy after the regime introduced the so-called Exemplary Teacher Initiative. Our neighbors have banned people they consider undesirable from teaching based on the records from their so-called collective approval system. No, Stephen, this just isn't gonna work. It's just data. It's faceless. It's one thing having the facts, but connecting with your audience? It's a whole other story. Every good story has people. We need the human element. Well, it seems I've saved the best for last. I've gone through some dark web discussions and stumbled upon this guy. He seems to have quite a grudge against Corlo. Okay, well, anyone can say whatever they want online. How do you know he's telling the truth? Because I found him. Marcus Richardson, IT specialist, previous employee, Corlo Industries. And about a month ago, he was fired. How did you manage that? Still got a few aces up my sleeve. Sometimes better not to know, I guess. I'm writing to him. <clears throat> Text. Hello, my name is Julia Sanchez. I'm investigating the Corlo incident. I would like to ask you some questions. I think we can help each other. Send. Accept. Well, hello, Julia Sanchez. I'm a big fan of the show, and trust me, I got a story you will not believe. <laughs> <laughs>